kind of scary. You're having kicks and punches coming at you. There might be elbows. There might be knees. It can get a little. It can get a little overwhelming. Today, I'm going to give you some tips that help you to keep yourself safe, hold correctly, and help you know to get that burn that you want in your tire class. So again, this is not going legs. We're going to start off with understanding how to hold for a round kick. So one thing you have to understand when holding tie pads is that there are levels. There's usually like very, very strict levels. There's the head, the rib cage, and the legs. We're going to go over the, the things that a lot of people do wrong. A lot of people, when they hold tie pads, yeah, like you see, like he's crunching up, they end up bringing their elbows in front of their body like so and holding because they believe what's going to happen is, is that by keeping it out like this, they're keeping themselves safer. But in reality, what happens when you hold like this, if when a kick comes up at you, and I'm going to use my arm to demonstrate a kick, is it comes up and it knocks you in the face with your own knuckles. He's very dramatic. So we don't want to do that. And the next thing a lot of people do is when they hold the tap pads, they end up bringing it away from their body to meet the kick. What happens there is if he brings it up too low, it goes over top and can actually hit him in the face. And the third and final thing I've always, I see a lot of people do when they hold tie pads is that when they hold tie pads, they lean away from it because they think that's going to soften the blow. But imagine I'm a 245 pound guy. Lance is pretty strong. His legs pretty heavy. If I'm a 245 pound guy like Francis Ngannou and Lance leans back into this kick, when the kick comes, it's going to knock him over because he's, you know, super dramatic. But he's already going in that direction. So... A lot of people end up making themselves hurt worse and more scared from these improper techniques. So what you should do, and this is the most important part, when you're holding, structure is very important. I don't like people to hold up in a tie. What people should do is keep in your fight stance. It's as if you're fighting them. You shouldn't like try to turn your body and blade it. You shouldn't try to do any of that. No. Stay right where you are. Rotate your body, bring the pads together, and bring your elbows back toward your back. So if your leg turns around, when you're holding the pads, you bring them back. Bring those, yeah, and see how it's tightening up to his body. So when he actually, try to get that stance, and then he actually takes the attack, his entire back is behind the structure. It makes it a lot more sound, a lot more stronger structure. Now, the other part is, is he brings his leg over here, so he has that, that, that pyramid stance, and when he takes the attack, I can go straight from punch and bop, bop. So if he's here, and I can go bop, bop, instead of having to recorrect his entire body, he just turns, and he's ready to receive the kick. So it goes, what a bop, bop, he turns, and it's much quicker. So what you want to do is, you want to, again, pull everything back toward the back, bring the top two knuckles, the top two of the uh, pads together, showing the face. Don't have them facing down because it's not Krav Maga where I'm like kicking somebody in the nerves. I want to, because I'm coming into the rib cage, you want to show the face of the pads out. And when you take the attack, kind of drop your hips to bump it. So, every single time. Your entire body is stronger than anybody's one leg, but the structure has to be sound. Come back for part two. I'm going to teach y'all how to hold correct boxer mitts. Because again, like with everything else, I see a lot of people holding mitts in a way that's going to get them hurt or has got them hurt. They end up quitting boxing or Muay Thai technical class because they end up hurting themselves out of fear. I'm Coach Anthony. Not when we land. Thanks for joining my video. If you liked today's video, like, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get those follower counts up. We'll be back next week with another tips video. Join me on all my other socials.